this short presentation is going to be looking at how to use Word for adding references in the Vancouver style. That is the numbering system 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, and so on. So what we're going to do now is looking at a paper I've already produced and you can see here highlighted I've got some references there 1, 2, 3 and 4. I'm going to show you how to add extra references um, and how these actually work. You see here, just rolling over one, it shows me what the reference is like um, at the end of the document. The end of the document, all references collected together as a series with a number in front of them, followed by the reference details. I've just got another quote I want to add into my document. I'm now going to add another reference. Here I've got my quote from Powell ready for referencing. Don't forget when you come to reference a quote you do need to put the page number in as well as the the book itself. On this side here I've actually got the uh, book chapter uh, from Powell up on my page from Scholar just so it's easier to see actually where the reference comes from. Um, and also to make it easier just to see where how the reference relates to um, the actual book itself. So here we are. Um, I'm actually going to put the reference in after the quote here at the end. And you see the blinking line there. I go insert footnote. And you can see on here you've either got footnotes or endnotes. Now footnotes are at the bottom of a page. What we want here for this document is endnotes. They're going to be at the end of the document rather than end of a section. Number format, we want this obviously in a normal numerical 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Um, but you can see you can have other formats as well uh, should you want them with different documentation. Numbering, we want to be continuous. We're obviously starting at 1. Um, the actual document itself should know where I'm adding an extra one, so it should automatically put the right number in place. Um, numbering continuous, apply changes, the whole document, uh, not part of the document. I'm just going to click insert. You see there, it instantly added the, the actual letter itself, then brought me back to the bottom here where I need to add my reference. This is actually an edited book, so therefore we have to put the name of the author um, and the actual book itself, chapter, as well as the book. I can enter the information. The book was first published in 1985, although it has been republished really since. Because this is in a book, we need to put the name of the book as well in, and just to make life easier, uh, if I go to about this book, I can actually find the information about the book I can even get the book in print if I wanted to uh, obviously not available at the moment what is useful though here is I've got the ISBN number one of the very useful things to do is to go to an online site site is forme.com and I'm going to start a new bibliography. Uh, site is forme.com is very useful uh, for locating references. I'm going to sign for a book. I'm going to paste in my ISBN. Uh, click return to search. And there that's got my book details. I can actually, actually then click that to add it. And if I'm referencing, I can literally uh, select the text here and copy the text and going back to my referencing here, I'm going to paste that in place. Once that's pasted in place, I can then alter it to suit what I need. I I was going to change that to 2013 as this is the book I've looked at. 
move the number there. Reflection. I want to add the extra bit that differentiates it from other ones on reflection. Although the reference here says reflection, there's actually a kind of a um, so reflection here. Just going to put it all into normal. Page 45. So that's my reference completed. If I go back into my text, You can see here that the number is 9 and you can of course move that if you wanted to for example I really want to put someone said better put it uh, where as Powell I can actually drag it and put it in place there instead and need it closer so just I'm going to move that comma to underneath so sometimes it's always difficult to see where your references are. If you actually look back at a series of references where I've got several in a row, so I'll put here at the beginning, I've got quite a few references. Um, if you actually move a reference, it will automatically change and renumber itself here, but also at the um, list of references. It can be useful if you're looking at references uh, and want to move them around to actually go from a, a view like this of your whole page, 125%, to a larger size, for example, 200%. And then you can actually see it's much easier to actually see the numbers. And if I, for example, move this one here to perhaps lower down the, in the document, you see then the actual number itself changes. So positionally, um, using the system uh, makes it an awful lot easier uh, to work with in terms of numbering and renumbering and developing references, which is why when you're working with Word, it's well worth using the internal uh, footnote or endnote system.